Simantra, both parties that contended for power, deployed abundant money power, abundant uh, caste power. All kinds of freebies were offered. Where is development in this? It's all talk. In reality, it is one caste versus another caste. Liquor offered by one person versus liquor by another person. Freebie offered by one person against freebie offered by another person. All kinds of dirty tactics were deployed. And therefore, I really shudder to think of the future because all parties are in the same bandwagon. The estimate, a ballpark estimate for Andhra Pradesh, both the states together, is about 8,000 crores was spent only for the assembly and Lok Sabha election in the state. 8,000 crores for a poor state in a poor country. In addition, if you take the panchayat and the municipal elections, probably another four to 5,000 crores were spent. These are abnormal amounts. Now, after this kind of money is spent, and after these kinds of freebies are offered recklessly, like loan waivers and others, to expect that there'll be genuine development, and people really hope that there would be development, would be somewhat uh, churlish. I think it's more about chaos and fear of Jagan. Because between the two, it was perceived that Jagan is a far more dangerous enemy to the people because of phenomenal corruption, because the whole party was founded in corruption. And therefore, people wanted something different. It is those fears rather than hopes that really motivated the people to vote in Kostlanta and Rayalaseema. As far as Telangana is concerned, it is a sentiment. You are absolutely right. And it's also a hope, misplaced or well-placed, we'll have to see that the whole Telangana movement was built on this uh, desire for jobs. The people of Telangana, young people of Telangana, they wanted a separate state because they felt if they only had their own state, then they would have plenty of jobs. Those are the kinds of offers made, promises made. Now, without understanding what really is needed to make jobs happen, to create economic growth, people simply hope that by creation of a state itself, you'll have many, many jobs. And therefore, the party that was in the forefront of uh, this agitation that got the benefit. But Hyderabad city, for the very same, re same reason, because a cosmopolitan city, people didn't want any kind of sectarian politics here. They wanted harmony here. They didn't want uh, fear. And therefore, the fear of TRS is what dominated the thinking of people in Hyderabad city. But elsewhere in Telangana, it is the hope that there will be jobs. It is sentiment about the new state. It is the belief that the party that has been in the forefront of this agitation will probably protect their interests. Let's hope that they will not fail them. But in urban Andhra Pradesh, and to an extent even in rural Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Narendra Modi has made a significant impact. He captured the imagination of the people, particularly the young people and the middle classes.